Uh, well, I guess I'll just go back to the cobblestone over here. And then I guess we can head back to that, uh, that village over there. And get all the juicy crops. And hopefully I don't die! No, I'm dead! Oh! Oof! Oh! <laughs> Man! We would have been dead right there! We would have been dead! I could technically just kill myself right now, because we do have to uh, <laughs> uh, keep inventory on. And then just teleport back here, but eh. Eh. We have 119 uses left on our Bloodwood pickaxe. And then we have another spare. So what I think I'm going to do is climb down from here. And then we're going to grab all the juicy crops from this village. I don't mind if I do. And it definitely seems like the villagers just do not even care that I'm there. So I hope it's going to be a little bit easier than uh, when we had those guards. Now, what is that thing? That is interesting. I kind of want to investigate that while we go grab those crops over there, too. So I'm going to get down from here and I'll see you guys here in a bit. Oh, man. Let me slurp up all those crops, hater. Don't mind if I, I think I'm getting, ta oh, I'm getting attacked by a taint swarm. God, get out of your taint swarm. What are you doing? Get out, get out, get out. Oh, man, did we pick anything up? I don't think we did. Oh, man, we're getting killed by something. Oh, another taint swarm. Gee, get out of here. Maybe that's what was attacking me a long time ago instead of these actual villagers. Oh, emergency nutrient bar in my stomach. Oh, delicious. Nutritious. Literally nutritious is a nutrient bar. <laughs> what do you expect? Oh, more crops. I'll be grabbing those. Yeah, looks like the villagers just do not even care that I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's so good, though, because we're going to get so much wheat, so many seeds, so many potatoes as well. Oh, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. And then, oh, we're getting attacked by a hunter, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. It's another guard. It's another guard. Okay, get over your guard. Oh, there he is. Oh, get out of your guard. No taint of militia. There we go. Got him. Did he drop anything good other than XP? Two leather hats that are like teal colored or cyan or whatever. Eh, cobblestone would get rid of that for another stack of wheat. And I think that's it. Yeah. A little bit of seeds. but Oh, comatite. We can get rid of that. There we go. All right, let's go up here. Oh, he dropped some bronze coins, but uh, or gold coins or whatever those are. But uh, they don't have... They don't have value, do they? Dirt, we can get rid of that. Stairs up to this, ooh. What's in this? Oh, bottom potatoes. I'll grab those, don't mind if I do. And we have a little drying rack right there, but I don't even care about that drying rack. Let's take all these potatoes. There we go, man, we have like nothing. We, we should definitely make a, uh, a knapsack here pretty soon. Just to make us, uh, you know, just so we have a lot more inventory to get a lot more loot. But I'm going to be grabbing all this wheat, grabbing all the seeds, grabbing all the potatoes, and I'll see you guys back home once I grab everything. Oh, look at this. I came over here to this farm, and inside this chest is a bunch more of these, uh, these tattered notes and stuff. So let's put that bucket up, and let's actually tr or, uh, turn these into language things. So let's get the weathered notes, turn those into language things as well. And get the actual book that's going to turn into 10 of them. Not bad. And we'll submit that. So I think we're, I think we only need like, what, like maybe 12 more of these? And I think we're good to go. Colonist or xenobiologist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, or turn those in. Manual submit. So we're at 92 now. Uh, yeah, we only need 12. And uh, local currency. Yeah, I already turned that in. And what is that? Maybe that's going to be an alien translator he's going to give us. Ooh, that's going to be dankaroony as heck. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to continue getting all this farm stuff, and I'll see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, I have all the loot. Oh, whoa, I hit the village. Oh, are the villagers attacking me? No, it's another swarm. Man, why are these, why are the villagers coming over here now? Is it, is it kind of like Pikmin, where if you hit one, they're kind of sour, and they all gang up on you? Is that it? And there's the swarm right there. There is the heart of the swarm. Let's get rid of that taint swarm. Get it? Oh, did we get it? Oh, I think we did. Okay, oh, that's good. We do have a full inventory. I don't know what that thing that that villager dropped was. We're getting tainted out the butt. Man, it's another taint swarm. <gasps> File of a Essentia, enchanted fabric, mana bean, titanium sword blade. That's a lot of stuff. Can I eat eggs? Can I just straight eat eggs? I wonder if I can. No. Oh, it's another villager. Oh, man, I thought he was going to kill me. Oh, I'm sorry I had to do it, villager. Oh, what is that? A barrel? <gasps> Bees and stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. We can do bee stuff. What mod is that? Oh, it's Pam's Harmon's Craft. Huh. Or, or was it the forestry mod that does, like, bee stuff? I think it was. 
Huh. I've never messed with, as, as I said like a dozen times before, I never really messed with Pam's Harvest Craft stuff, so I don't know what you can do with Pam's Harvest Craft uh, bees. Maybe something really good, who knows? And it was, let's eat some more baked potatoes. Can I even, oh, I can't even eat these because I'm full. Okay, well, oh, baked potatoes are losing their value quick. Can you use them for something else? Potato bag? Chicken pot pie? Pot roast? Vegetable soup? Uh, more vegetable soup? Potato soup? Not bad. Well, anyways, I kind of want to get the loot that's inside of here, but redwood, yeah, we can get rid of the redwood stuff. File of Essentia, fire arrow. I kind of want to get the thomic sword blade thing. Uh, there's a little bit of bloodwood stuff. Uh, steak. Yeah, steak has like no value to us right now. Sugarcane fire arrows. Uh, can we get rid of anything else right now? Seeds. Yeah, we can get rid of seeds. Yeah, there you go. We can take that mana bean. I don't know what you use it for. Not eaten recently. Yeah, it looks like you can just straight up eat it. What do you know? Oh, acacia seeds. Yeah, I can get rid of that. I'll take those, uh, take those seeds back. <laughs> Actually, I'll take that bloodwood back. Yeah, there you go. It's a little bit more valuable. And there's a taint swarm outside just waiting on me. Get out of your taint swarm. Get out of here. There's like two. I don't even know how many there are. It feels like there's two. There you go. Got a lot of XP from him. Looks like another taint swarm there, maybe. I don't know. But there's a lot of bee stuff over here. Should I get the stuff that's inside of here? Honeycombs? What can you use those for? What can you use a queen bee for? Uh, apiary, honeycomb, waxcomb, grubs, crafting... What is killing me now? Oh, it's the taint. Okay. I feel like... I feel like... Oh, another taint swarm. <laughs> of course, another taint swarm. Just try to kill me. The whole thing turns red when I hit it, too. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we can just come back and get all that queen bee stuff here later instead of right now, you know? I feel like we do that, you know, especially because we'll have more inventory later. And, uh, I do want to make a knapsack so we can, you know, store more stuff. So head, boy, head back to Biodome Alpha. Oh, there we go. What, a sugar cane? I don't even remember putting a sugar cane there. Anyways, we have a lot of crops, a ton of crops, an absolute ton. Look at all that. Jeez. And, uh, this file of Essentia. And, oh, oh, is it, is it just, what? Jar label? What? What would I use that for? To label jar? But that's like an actual thing. Why would I use it to label a jar? Huh. Well, either way, <laughs> we have a lot of stuff right now. And I suppose we're going to have to make some, uh, you know, potato soup, stuff like that here in the future. We can't just eat baked potatoes anymore. We need to, we need to start being more creative with our cooking. Hashtag creative with our cooking. That sounds like a YouTube channel. I wouldn't be surprised if it a YouTube channel called Creative for Cooking already existed. Anyways, I guess this is kind of our Thomcraft chest already, right? Like, we're already storing a bunch of random Thomcraft stuff, and I guess I could put my gun up in there, since I'm not going to be using it. Extra sword, and this, uh, ka Kaura, comma thing, I guess I can keep that. Seven attack damage? Do all these things do? Oh, five attack damage for the pickaxe, four for the shovel, but the actual, the hatchet, and the sword, seven, or six, seven, and then seven for the comma thing. That's not bad. That's actually really good. Anyways, we did get some more of these ethereal blooms. So, how are our potatoes? Eh, potatoes aren't doing too well right now. But, we do have some more of these ethereal blooms going. So, might as well. I got some comments saying, to start planting them, like, on the outside of our house. Or on the outside of the biodome, you know, like kind of get a perimeter of the thing going. So that's actually a pretty good idea. I guess I'll start doing that just to kind of expand our perimeter around here instead of just expanding out that way. They'll start going like pretty much every other way. So there you go. And can't really do much more right now. I guess we could put one there. And oh, wow, that's whew, that's completely gooped up. That wood is. Can you break that? Is that going to turn back into the. It's gonna turn back into- oh, no it's not. Oh, it like ate the whole thing. Gee, man. <laughs> Alright, let's place down another thing there, and looks like the taint that was inside of here, like the middle here, is gone. So we'll have two more of these ethereal blooms we can place down, like, uh, there. <laughs> and let's look at the minimap, actually. That might be able to- yeah, maybe over here. Yeah, actually, over here in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's place another one that back there at the back, because it's already, uh, it's already getting rid of the taint with the underground ethereal blooms that we have. So might as well place one down about, you know, meh, there, right? Start, start getting this, like, uh, circumference perimeter nice and cleaned up. I still don't know why, like, all this is, like, glitched out. Maybe it's because I, I don't know. 
because I haven't played in like a week or something. I don't know. <laughs> and it was just head back inside and go to bed because we are getting tanked out of here. This is not good. Let's get out of here. Oh, <gasps> oh, and I guess, as I said before, we definitely do need to go back uh, and do a mining adventure. Actually, where is our Thaumanomacromanomanom? Where is that thing at? Where did I put it? I, I thought it was in there. Is it in the items? Oh, yeah, there it is right there. Why did I put it inside there? Uh, apparently this thing has like recipes and stuff. The Petch or the Peck. Strange creatures, plants and trees, ores, enchantments. Ooh, haste and repair. Thomcraft has several unique enchantments. Haste and repair. And I already know what repair and haste do. So, or just, I'm just going to assume I know what they do. So let's get out of that. The Peck. What can I like... These strange humanoids can be found wherever the veil between worlds is at its thinnest. They seem drawn to the magical energies that abound in such places. Don't let their small stature fool you. They have incredible strength and can carry many times their own body weight. Ooh, Peck are normally not aggressive, but when riled up, they will band together and hunt down their attacker. They're kind of like bees and, and pigmen and stuff, I guess. Under normal conditions, they avoid people at all costs. Pecs are... Okay, I guess I guess we're just going to try and avoid those things, you know? Thom... Thom... Thomanergy? Uh, wow, it's like an ancient alien language. Alchemy? God, pig, stop... Stop kissing me, pig! I don't want you to kiss me! <gasps> uh, table? Research table to gather knowledge? Looks like we're going to need a research table. We want to need to make a, a scribing... A scriber thing? Ink sack? Feather and glass file. And glass file is glass with clay. Huh, this is actually kind of cool. An arcane work table. So it looks like we're going to need that as well. So scribing tools, feather, and just regular ink sack. So, you know, kill squid and use feather from the chicken. And then the glass file, uh, we can make like right now, right? Do we have extra clay? Yeah, we do. Look at that. And what was it again? Three glass? Ooh, we're a little bit short, but we can start smelting some of the sand with... Uh, do we have extra... Do we have extra oak wood? Yeah, I guess we can you know, use the oak wood. Eh, turn in the pl Oh, we had fences, right? Yeah, we have extra fences, but... Eh, I'm not, I'm not really planning on expanding the chicken farm over there anytime soon. Hurry up and give me that last piece of glass, hater! Come on. And we're gonna make ourselves a file. There you go. And then we need ink sack and a feather. There you go. That's gonna get us the little scribing tools. So, glass, like so. Clay at the top. There we go. Glass file. And then, what was it again? Uh, that, feather, ink sack. There you go. Scribing tools. Nice. That's actually kind of cool. I like this thumb and thumb and and crown and thumb and And then, a uh, table. We're gonna need silverwood slab. Or, like, I guess any. Yeah, it looks like any wood slabs. And I guess two of them? A uh, research table is created by two, placing two tables next to each other and then clicking them with scribing tools. Okay. Okay, so we just need, uh... We have some oak wood right now. I guess, do the silverwood, would that work? We have extra silverwood. Silver bell, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We have silverwood logs, and it's from Thomcraft, so surely that would be the best option, right? So what was it? That's a pressure plate. It was like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's get two of those, and then we need to place them next to each other. And I guess, yeah, I guess we could place them like, eh, over here. There you go. And then right-click it with the scribing tools. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. Look at the, t this looks really good. And then what do you do here? Terra, Earth, Air, Aqua, Ignis, Ordo. Okay, it looks like Ordo is Order, Perditio. <laughs> I'm butchering these pronunciations so hardcore. Perditio, Perditio, Air, Terra, you know, Earth, Aqua for water, scribing tools. So what do I do here? Earth, water. Oh, whoa, I just made life with Earth and water. Whoa. And what are, what are these numbers next to it? Water and fire. What is that? There's some more life. But what do I do with life? Life and air. That gives you... I don't know what that did. <laughs> I don't know. Order with life. That gives you... Say, say no. Cure. Huh. 
I guess I'm going to have to look into the thomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanom